So we've got this very nice dichotomy between um, the portion of the of, your, of our assets that we use to really match the, the um, liability and show that we will survive and pay our liability and move on to grow our equity even more. And the portion of risk that you, we take and the active risk we take is only on our own funds, not on the funds that we borrow. So I think that's a lesson to some managers out there in terms of disasters. Um, so the last... Um, uh, application that we consider in the book and it's actually the, the last chapter of the book so it closes the book and at the same time open up to so much more that we are <laughs> working on right now um, just to distract ourselves after 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 finishing the book we didn't know quite what to do so we started some crazy projects um, it's black little man in continuous time and really for us black little man is something that was meant to be written in a dynamic setting because you want to look at the impact of your uh, uh, analyst opinion, not at just one time horizon, but over time. And you want to look at the uncertainty that this is capable of modeling. So for us, uh, and that's something that we are really starting to get to grasp with right now. We just have an introduction uh, to that in, in the book. But for us, what we discover, and w w well, uh, I had a, a prof long time ago who was saying it's intuitively obvious once you think about it. I guess we had never really thought about it, but it's somehow intuitive. It's that the views that our analysts or our friendly Warren Buffett contribute to on a daily basis are actually ways to corner or to grasp the uncertainty in the world. There is only so much that you can do with just statistical analysis 